What's up everybody? Brianna Tignard here and welcome to my channel. We are on the fourth and final installation of our biomimicry mini series. Say that five times fast. And so far we've talked about humpback whales, termites, and slugs. That was not in the right order. Whoops. And today we're going to talk about another beloved member of the animal kingdom, the elephant, and how it's inspired engineers to do something amazing. One of the coolest and most standout features of an elephant is their amazing trunk. It serves all sorts of varieties of purposes and tasks. It is capable of amazing fine motor detail and movement. And it is overall just a marvel of bioengineering occurring automatically in nature. Scientists and inventors, on the other hand, sometimes are not super good at making uh, prosthetic arms or robotic arms that have such that fine level of motion um, or even that can be safe for humans to be around. So oftentimes robotic arms used in factories or building engineering are shielded from humans because one wrong move from a robotic arm and it can do severe damage or endanger a human life. So scientists were looking for a way to fix this and they turned to, you guessed it, elephant trunks. So a German company named Festo, which has actually made a variety of animal inspired robots, which are all super cool, used the elephant trunk as an inspiration to make a robotic arm. An elephant trunk is composed of lots of muscles, around 40,000 muscles to be exact. And as those muscles push and pull, it is capable of movement and that's how an elephant trunk moves. The Festo, robotic arm doesn't use muscle because it's, it's a robotic arm but instead it uses series of chambers of compressed air that can be compressed more or compressed less to allow the same amount of movement not only does it have a lot more movement than your conventional robotic arm it also weighs a lot less which is always fantastic we like things that are not as heavy it is also capable of grasping objects in a gentler manner and with more care and it is also a lot safer for humans to be around it because the motions are gentler and more controlled so overall having a robotic arm inspired by an elephant trunk a major improvement to our conventional robotic arm that wraps up our little mini series on biomimicry i hope you enjoyed learning all about how humpback whales inspired wind turbines and fans, how slugs inspired a new brand of surgical glue, how termites inspired a building that can be heated and cooled without electricity, and finally how elephant trunks inspired a new line of robotic arms. Thank you so much for watching the series. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like this video, subscribe to my channel, uh, follow me on Instagram, stay tuned for more videos coming to you every Tuesday and Friday and sometimes other days just for fun and keep it sciencey. What's up everybody? What's up everybody? <laughs> Their beloved animal in the kingdom of animals.